Yo, guess who's back? Stevie DVD and VRHD. Like, subscribe, go tell your friends about me. Well, today I'm going to do a tutorial um, for people who first buy the game and don't know how to do any movement, don't know what the contractors are, don't know what to click to get a game. So I'm starting right at the beginning. Basics for the first time player. Um, what I'll do is show you a few things that you you need to know, you know. Give me a second, I'm just on my computer. <laughs> do a thumbnail quickly. Okay, yes, my friend Tim, UFO Builder, inspired me to do this. He's recently bought, well, we bought the game ages ago, but only recently he got a headset and now he can play it. He was on yesterday and didn't know how to move, didn't know where his grenade buttons were, did not know any of the buttons on the aim controller, what was what, where was what, and all that, you know. So I'm going to do this quickly for everyone in the same boat. Let me just put my tablet on. And um, see, there's so much to cover. I haven't got a script or anything like that. I'm trying to do it off off the bat, you know. So I'm going to start with the aim controller first, show you where all the buttons are, show you what they do. Turn my volume down on the tablet. Have a rolling. Sweet. All right. Yeah, he has an aim controller, so I will go through the buttons on an aim controller. You can play this with the DualShock PlayStation 4 controller, but it's a lot more enjoyable with the controller. Right, I'm just going to wipe my lenses. Every time you put your headset on, after about a minute or so, you, they do fog up initially. Give them a wipe, all job done, they're good. But try not to push it too close to your eyes, because they just keep misting up. Right, the aim controller has every button that the PlayStation pad has. Hey, Rocker Shocker. Happy birthday, Doc. Dr. Subtone. Big shout out. It's Dr. Subtone's birthday today. Cheers for that, Rock. Big shout out to Dr. Subtone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Doctor. Happy birthday to you, Lander Staley. Right, um, right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know what these are. Right, these are your shoulder buttons that are on the pad. They're your grenade buttons. The top one's a lethal grenade. The bottom one is your tactical grenade. Um, here... So you've got X, see the, the round circle there with the little lines in. You've got X, square, circle, triangle. Um, you've got the PS button at the top, the round one. That long shaped button is touchpad sensitive. That's the equivalent to your touchpad on your pad. Um, you've got the D-pad there, left, right, up, down. Um, that's to put the lasers on on the guns. Um, you have a share button there, options button there. Uh, you can push that stick in nearest to you and that will do a stab on the character. Um, this, this stick also looks around, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. This front stick, you walk back, walk forwards, left, right. You can push it in to run as well. So I think that's, well, there's a trigger button, charge button. I think that's covered. So that's your controller. PS button's there. You can flip to your menus, do some stuff, blah, 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 blah. Uh, R1, L1s, they're one way or the other around on them, but there you go, that's that. Um, also, you need to know how to invite friends to a game. You press that plus sign and it'll pop up with all your friends list and you just go down. And that's how you invite someone to a game. Press that, go through, boom, send invite, done. All right, okay, also on this screen, startup screen, um, if you want to go to play public 4v4 online, you go boom. You press that and just sit in a lobby and wait for it to fill up to eight. Then you get a timer. Then you go in against some hard people. Um, if you're just starting out, you might want to go here and do some solo. This is what I would do. Do some solo training. You can set up private matches between you and seven of your friends, including you eight. And you can go training on public. You can own, if you haven't got a PlayStation Plus, you can only go solo playing around. You can't even do a private match with friends. So you need PS Plus to go online with this game. So if you want to go online and play with people, you press public or private. I think that, that'll take you online, I'm not sure. I don't know what that private is. I don't remember doing it too much, but if we go private, we use these ones. Right, that's that sorted. Now you want to know about contract. We go contractors, then loadouts. Right, each character, 
it's got something special about them. They've got two skills. One skill here, take less explosive damage. And this one I have player. It, on my, when I die and my body is on the floor, it um, drops a proxy mine where if someone runs over it, it blows them up, hopefully. But if they are using this dude who can take less explosive damage, see this man, he won't get, if someone threw a grenade at him, he wouldn't get blown up. If he gets proxy mined, he won't get blown up. Any of the other contractors would. If you're not running this skill, takes left, a grenade will kill you outright. But if you've got that on, a grenade won't kill you, but it would really, really hurt you. It'd take one more bullet to kill you, so you've got to run. You can survive explosives with him. Um, so if you basically, you come with one standard skill. This one you can change. And I'll show you here. All these cost crypto, but each one of these is a skill. Um... Backtrace, I mean, you'd have to read read every little section. Each one's got a special rhino skill. Um, you can you take less knife damage. Um, overload, what's that say? Extra flashbangs, um, conditions. Um, they've all do different things. Light speed, faster reloading. So they've all, but all this costs money. All that costs money. But yeah, that's your skills covered. You always get one standard one. Each character's got, I mean, their standard one is scout. Heighten enemy detection. You can look on your wristband tablet and you see people as red if they're running around. He's got extra ammo. Miko's silent ninja. Um, Fang's got reload fast magazine. But as I say, you can click on the, the second perk and see to with him, reloads faster magazines. I could put takes less explosive damage. You can mix and match to your liking. You can put heavy duty on, which is explosive damage. So he won't get done by a grenade. But yeah, every contractor has, well, I call them characters sometimes, excuse me if I do, you can change their second skill and add something. Okay, right, if you want to make him look a bit, bit dapper, you can, as, I'll show you again what I pressed. Um, if you click on the edit button there, it will come up with camos. Here you can do his hat, face, t-shirt or top, uh, do his top, it changes colours. So you can um, do some and go equip. So you can change how they look. I'll do them like a Christmas present. I'll do them like a Christmas present. Right, okay, so you can you can do hats. You can put a patch on his arm as well, which are all here. All down here is all different things. Um, sorry about the chat if you're chatting in there. I usually put my union. Jack on there you go. UK flag, NASCAR, is it? Right, okay, so you can dress him up, do face paint and all that. So click on that, click on his face, put some face paint on, I have to equip. So that's how you set up a contractor with skills. Um, okay. Now this is what you want to see, loadout. When you first start the game, you will have basic loadouts. You would have, these would be set up for you. You've got these, one, you'll have assault, CQB, support, operation now each of these you've got different weapons free burst gun that one um you basically when you start out you'll be wanting to use this one this is the best gun in the game so i've been hearing and everyone uses it this is the class if you're starting out use this one and just learn how to use little toys you got here um you can't custom do any custom classes until you reach um it'll say where, where your level is but when you reach level four I think you can actually start doing custom classes where you can mix. You can't alter anything on these. These are all standard. You can't alter anything. But when you get to level four, you can start buying stuff like mines and that and set them up. You can, you can change that. See, I can't do it slot locked, but you can change. See, if I was, I could change the grenades to proxy mines, stickies, impacts, C4 charges, all different equipment for my lethal grenade, which is that top button, remember, on the front. That's your lethal grenade. Or you can have um, smoke grenades, instant smoke. Um, you can have a motion sensor. Well, the motion sensor is what you've got to use, actually, on the standard class. So I'll go through that. Signal modifier I use. You don't get that till level 21, so you don't really need to know about that. Um, you want to take some smoke or concussion mines. It depends what you can afford. Basically, if you see crypto in this game, collect as much crypto as you can in the early stages. And if you're playing with higher level rank 50s, Always, hopefully, and ask them if they'll let you get the firewall and the laptops. You can level up quick, level up quick, level up. If you're going with 50s, man, they should allow you to um, 
level up to level 50. Right, um, so you load out on your guns. When you do get to um, customise your guns, you can um, camouflage them up. Watch this. You can, um, you can. Uh, I'll show you again in case you didn't see it. Go on your load out. When you've got custom class set up, when you can go to your custom classes and set them up, you click, click on your gun. Click on paint or that one, but I'll click on paint because you can do the camo straight away. Uh, everything costs money, as I say. Collect all the crypto you can. I'm, I usually go red and I'll unequip that, then I'll equip it again. There you go. I usually go red, and if you click on this one icon, it gives you little trinkets that you can put on the side there. I've got a glow stick. I'll have the green one there. Because it's the original green glow stick so you can judge your weapons up judge your clothes up that's that done right i've done aim controller how to play the game there and there right load out um let me see motion sensor you will so let's so i would if i was you i would go solo i would go solo training for a bit collect all the crypto you can shoot as many people as you can earn a little bit of xp on the way so right, um, what you do is to go solo player, I'll just do one round solo player, I'll show you how to use the equipment that you've got. But this is what you want to do when you're first time player. Um, this is basic, I'll just talk you through walking around and what I'm doing. And you should be alright. The rest is up to you and whoever you find in the, in the game. But do solo for a bit. Do you get some confidence, some XP. Right, when you choose a solo, right, here I am, I've just picked solo on that window pane, didn't I? The second window pane, right, I want to go, now I want to choose what contractor I'm going to roll with. So I can go left, right, pick someone, I'll pick him. Don't need a mine on this. I'll use, what shall I do, what shall I do, what shall I do? I'll use him anyway. I'll go with, I'll go defend. And I'll show how to use some stuff. Right, um... I'm going to go with three mines. Uh, watch this. Con this contractor has got a skill where I can have three mines on it. She's also can take an extra bullet shot, but she can't take any grenades. So I've got three mines set up on that as my second skill. Um, she ain't really dressed up too well, but there you go. Right, I'm going out with that loadout, concussions and proxies. I can pick my. Okay, so I can pick any map I want in solo mode. I can try out any maps. Boom, boom, boom. There's 20 maps to choose from. Um, you can also choose whether you want to defend or attack. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the office and I'm going to go defend because then I can put my motion sensor down and some mines and show you how they work. Okay, let's go. Okay, here I am. I've got to defend this laptop and kill everyone. Right, um, right I'm looking around with the stick nearest to me, the nearest stick nearest to the butt of the aim controller. That's looking around. The other stick, I'm walking forward. Now I'm pushing it in and running. So, yeah, I'm walking backwards now with it. I'm walking forward. No, I'm running forward. See, I always run. Right, I'm pressing the lethal grenade, which is the top button at the front now, to put that down. Put one there. Oh shit, I've got a motion sensor. I ain't even got a motion sensor. Fuckers. Oh, right, a motion sensor, I've got concussions in. I ain't got a motion sensor. Well, right, I'll put them together, that'll concuss him and that'll blow him up. Just let them do what they gotta do. But yeah, that's. One. But that's what they do. You put them together and it can cuss and the other one will blow them up. Oh, they're going to the other door, are they? Watch this, I think. Anyway. You, 
can also blind fire with the aim controller. Watch this. Where is he? There he is. Just go like that. And light the place up. Uh, X shuts the doors. See, I heard that go off. I now know I'm under attack from here. But yeah, you walk around, look at, I'm walking, looking, yeah, using both sticks at once. Um, I just pressed X on the little round circle, but square is to reload. I've got, have I got any ammo in here? Just in case I might need it sometime. It just flash bangs me. Ah, dirty. And there's some ammo. How much have I got? Oh, I've got enough for now. But yeah, I'm standing up, by the way. I might sit down now though. And what I'll do is after this game, I will show you um, what to turn off. You, you, I think you've got click turn on as well from default. You might want smooth turn. So what you basically do is turn click turn off and it means it's smooth turn. Great! Run to them grenades, I wouldn't run back. Oh, there's more ammo here, I forgot. There's loads. So yeah, I would go solo, if you're a first time player, I'll go solo for a bit, learn the maps, learn how to use some of the stuff in solo, get your XP up, collect all this crypto, let's go and find a bit of crypto. You've got to collect all these coins. Um, there's coins of crypto and intel, I'll show you this. There's a coin, look, it's crypto. That's what you want to get as much of as you can, because you want to buy weapons and um, tactical gear. And also camo. Any ammo, boys? Nope. I've got two crates of it around me, man. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Ammo. So, yep, yeah, um, I'll end the stream in a minute. I'll finish this game. I don't know how much longer I've got. If you look on your wrist tablet, you can see the maps. You can see me as laptop. You can see close proximity. If they start shooting, they pop up as a red dot. I've got one minute left to defend one this. Um, once they start shooting, they should show up as red. Watch on the um, thingy. Unless they're using silencers or suppressors, whichever you call them. Go and shoot them, boys. There you go. And if you've got Scout on, that, um, I can't remember a name, but if you've got Scout to um, detect enemies, you can see them when they're just walking around and running the stuff. Yeah, so if you look at that and people are walking around like I am now, they're sharp as a red dot, permanently. You ain't getting my laptop. So they were proxy mines and concussion mines. Um, when you um, can do a class, you want to change them to maybe grenades for, for when you attack. Because at the moment, it's like defending stuff that you've got. And when you're actually attacking, it's um, hard to use that sort of stuff, so you want grenades to throw. So when you um, get custom classes open, put yourself a grenade or two on. But yeah, I'll go to the options and show you. Um, I've got smooth turn on, and I'll show you what my settings are. Everyone should turn it all off, if I remember rightly. I should have showed you this first, actually. Everyone should have seen this first things first. I'm a realist. Um, right, yeah, if you go to... Where's my options? Where's my options in? Oh, sorry, there it is. Ah, that, go to that cog up there. Oh, mate, it's been a long time since I've been here. Go to... Well, controls. Smooth turn, on. Aiming preference, no offset. 
bone configuration is all regular and regular. Um, anti alias in off smooth turn Viganet off sprint Viganet off everything off on that one everything off but they're the settings you really want to use everything off but yeah nice one thanks for watching like and subscribe